Invasive species are a global problem in which species, plants, animals, bacteria, viruses have been moved around the planet by people and end up causing, in the United States, over a hundred billion dollars in damages annually. In the Great Lakes region, the most important source of invasive species introduction is the shipping industry, where the invasive species hitch a ride in the ballast of the ship and move around the world one port to another. The movement of species is just a byproduct sometimes of the globalization of trade. So we've got more and bigger ships, more and bigger planes, and more people moving around the planet along with the goods that we, each of us, want to consume. So we're, we're moving not only inanimate goods, TVs and clothes, but we're also often moving organisms. And the problem is that some of those organisms are likely to be quite harmful in the new environments in which we put them. Ship's ballast is the large volumes of water that ship captains have to suck up on occasion and discharge on occasion in order to keep the ship balanced and safe. So especially when a ship is taking cargo on, they may be discharging ballast water. And that ballast water may have come from some other part of the globe and it will contain all the organisms that existed in the port where the water was taken up, including crabs, fish, shrimp, plants, algae, all manner of organisms may be discharged in a port on the other side of the globe from where they were taken up. The zebra mussel has had an enormous impact in the Great Lakes. From the $150 million in damage every year caused to power plants and other industries to keep their pipes clean, to the damage done to sport and commercial fisheries in the Great Lakes including the whitefish fishery in Lake Michigan and Lake Huron, and overall threatening other parts of the sport and commercial fishery that collectively are worth $7 billion a year in the Great Lakes region. While the shipping network has been great for global commerce and trade, there are also certain harmful consequences of the shipping network, and these include the spread of invasive species across different parts of the world. So while the Great Lakes comprise only 0.1% of the global shipping traffic, our research has shown that within three or four voyages, the Great Lakes are connected to every other port in the world. The goal of our research is to understand the global networks of transportation, ships and planes, that distribute organisms around the planet. Our research can help predict which invasive species are a threat to which ports of the world. And as a result, the shipping companies and other resource managers can better plan for containing the spread of invasive species around the world. So invasive species together constitute one of the most major threats to the functioning of ecosystems around the planet. They're one of the top five drivers of environmental change on the planet and one of the grand challenges of research. So it's not just that it's one or two species, it's that with the increasing global commerce, we are faced with more and more harmful species. We could use the research that we're producing to make better decisions that would allow us to continue commerce, but without the side effects of harmful species. The most cost-effective way to deal with invasive species is to prevent them from arriving in the first place. It is far more expensive to try to control them once they're here. This area of research has an important element to it, is that it's not isolated from the community, it's not isolated from the citizens. It has an effect which goes beyond our labs and benches and our workstations, etc. It has something which affects the citizen, it affects the community.